Okay, so this is my video for the Benihana simulation. Um, so we'll just jump right into it. Um, so for the first one here, I did batching just because you, you can serve a lot more customers. You can get a lot more people in at one time. Batching is like cert, like set it, sitting a bunch of people at a table rather than just setting them one at a time as they come into the restaurant. Um, so that just um, gets a lot of people in and out a lot more quicker. Um, for the second one, um, as it loads, I played around with this one a lot. I originally thought that um, 71 bar seats and 12 tables was my best bet, but it actually ended up being um, 63 bar seats and 13 tables. Um, so I guess that extra table just really boosted like my sales and the amount of people that I had coming in. Um, and again, I used batching for that, so I would click that button there. Um, for the third setting, I also played a little around with this one a lot. Um, there were a lot of times where I thought my numbers would be good, like um, from open to seven, I was doing a 60 minute dining time. From seven to eight, I was doing a 50 minute dining time. And then from eight to 10.30, I was doing a 60 minute. But again, I, I thought it was working, but it wasn't. Um, so I had to play around with that a lot, and I ended up finding that um, a 45-minute time all around was actually serving, was actually giving me more profit because it was serving more people. They were coming in and they were getting out. It was a really quick process. Um, so my average profit for that was um, 139.48. But if I did what I, what I originally thought would be good, let me set that up here real quick. Do do do. Um, my profit goes down by like twenty twenty five dollars, so I'm like I'm in the negatives a lot over here in these runs. I have like maybe one or two really good hours, um, but I'm also losing a lot of customers, and that's not really what we're wanting to see. Um, so that forty five minute time really did me good. It showed me a lot more service. Um, I have a lot more. I have a lot less lost customers, like there's a ton of zeros on the side here, and I have a lot more than just two like really good hours. So like I have like three or four of them when I use the 45 minute time, so that's really good. Um, for this other one, um, again, had to play around with it a lot. Um, in my mind originally, I didn't want to use that advertising budget. Um, because in my mind that was losing money, but in reality that budget's there for a reason, so you're wanting to use it. Um, so I started out with just like using the one one time normal budget, the happy hour, and the 5 p.m. But as we can see over here, my average profit is um, $405.25. But when you actually get into it and you start using that profit, my profit actually goes up to... Um, Sorry, my Wi-Fi is terrible, so this takes forever to load. Um, oh. Would well, you look at that? I'm actually learning something. Um, so let me go back to that um, one times budget. Um, I just figured that happy hour was the best because it attracts more people anytime before 7 p.m., uh, but drinks are priced lower by 50 cents, which it's funny because humans are really tricked by prices. So if they just see that 50 cent price increase, then they're going to think that they're getting a really good deal. And in reality, it's not really that price with that, that good of a deal, but their mind is going to be tricked and they're going to buy more of them. Whereas the discount promotion attracts customers, but it lowers the dinner price. Not really something that you're wanting to see. Um, I'd rather attract customers and have the same prices because that 50 cent decrease on drinks is not really going to hurt me that bad and then awareness building it's just like mailers about like hey my restaurant's here not really something that I was wanting to do um so I'm going to run this one more time and yeah it actually looks like I'm making a hundred and five dollars more budget when uh more profit <clears throat> when I'm doing that one times normal budget so um I played around with that a lot and I wasn't saying that originally, so that's it's really interesting to see that and um, to learn that after that's something that I'd already done. <clears throat> All right, and then for this one, I also played around with it a lot because in my head, 
from open to seven, we're probably not going to see a lot of people. And from eight to 1030, we're probably not going to see a lot of people. So I was like, okay, so tables of four to eight, because I wouldn't necessarily say not use batching, but use batching in lower numbers because we're not going to see as many people and that rush isn't going to be there but obviously use tables of eight during our peak time that seven to eight hour so i ran that and um again really slow do apologize i ran that and i was not seeing good numbers at all i was losing a lot of money i was losing a lot of customers um, this was probably my best hour right here, that run $14,333, and that was the best that I did the entire day. Um, so if you go back and you just do tables of eight all around, um, you do, 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 do. Um, so that profit does go down a little bit, but we're not losing as many customers and we're not losing as much money. Um, let's try this again. I figure just like going through this um, on the video, like, I don't know, it kind of like really just like um, helps me see a bunch of different things. Because sometimes when you're doing the simulation and you're just like going through the motions, you're not seeing the numbers as much as you like. Sometimes you're not paying as much as much attention as you should. Um, like here, we're seeing that we're actually doing a lot better we're, when we're doing the four share table, tables of eight during the peak hour. And I am thinking that's because, again, like I was saying earlier, you're not seeing as many people because that's not peak hours. Those are normal times for people to come and eat at your restaurant. Um, so you're still getting people in. And when you have four share table, you're not really having to wait on people like you're just putting them there and you're serving them and you're getting them in and out. And it's a, just really quick and you're still like seeing what you need to see. Um, and then lastly, number six, we put it all together. Um, so obviously, I'm going to take what I saw, what was best for my restaurant, four share table, tables of eight, four share table. We go on to bar decisions, which... Um, 12 tables and nope yeah we're gonna try this one um and then a 45 minute dining time because you're getting them in and out you want to get them in and out as fast as possible you want that turnaround as quick as you can um you you just you want to be making that profit and then advertising we're going to keep it at the one times budget but we're going to do happy hour and we're going to start that at 5 p.m we're going to simulate that and let's see here so yeah my profit is 469 um it could be a lot better um so there's obviously things that i can go in and change and figure out like what was working for me what wasn't working for me um i'm really confident in this right here my bar decision i'm gonna switch i'm gonna switch down to 63 seats and 13 tables um i'm also feeling good in my dining times and my advertising um so we'll simulate that again and that actually brought my profit down by $9. Um, so again, this is just, when it comes to running a restaurant like this, you really have to like, you really have to know your numbers. You have to know your people. You have to know your team. You have to know your target market and the community that you're in. All those are, all of those things are really, really important. They're going to factor into every single little decision that you make and they're going to end up factoring into how many customers see but at, in the end like I lost one customer that was on run four like all of this like really really matters my best my best run was $885 that is insanely good I'm not even really sure how I did that um, I'm gonna go ahead and view my data so I can continue to see what was good what wasn't good um so let's see here so that very first run my nightly profit was 393 dollars and one cent um i did a dining time of 60 minutes 50 minutes 60 minutes one times the budget happy hour 5 p.m tables of four to eight tables of eight tables of four to eight um and as you can see this one right here is the same because i ran the same numbers thought it was a good idea ended up not being good because as you can see on scenario three, which this isn't going up anymore. Yeah, so it actually looks like scenario three was my best. My nightly profit was $614. My total revenue was $5,000. I did not reach 
5,000. Um, well, I guess I reached, reached on those six. So on six, I must have ran the same numbers. So let's see here. I did 45 minutes all across the board, a budget of three times, um, happy hour starting at 5 p.m. and tables of eight all across the board. Um, my best guess as to why this worked is because one, that 45 minute time gets them in and out as fast as you possibly can get them in and out. So that your revenue per seats available is really um, skyrocketing compared to if they stay longer. If they're dining for an hour, then your wait time is going to be longer. You're going to lose those customers and you're not going to make, make as much money. Um, and then tables of eight, you're putting as many people there as you possibly can. You're getting them in and out. And again, just making all that profit. So the simulation really taught me a lot. Um, I was really able to learn those numbers, figure out what works best, why it works that way, why those numbers need to be that way. And I really enjoyed it. It was, again, really interesting to see it. Just like here, like what's really interesting here is like scenario five, like I didn't make a nightly profit. I lost their almost $30. Um, and my numbers weren't even really different compared to before. Um, a big part of that was probably this long, long, long dining time, but then using three times my budget, my advertising budget, and not putting as many people at as a table. So yeah, really interesting to see that. And really interesting to see what I learned and how I improved. And yeah.